What a question, little Miss Curious. I wonder why there are clouds in the sky. Only little Miss Curious would ask such a question. Are you so thirsty? Uh, let me explain, Little Miss Curious. You see, I, Little Miss Brainy, know the answer for everything. But why do you know the answer for everything? <laughs> what a question, because I'm Brainy. But why are you Brainy? Well, you see, when I oh, was oh. little... <laughs> Why are you using those bellows, little Miss Greedy? To tempt Mr Greedy out of that plane. Look, he's going to jump. <laughs> but why is he going to jump? Mr Skinny dared him to do it. Why did he accept the dare? Because Mr Greedy will get this cake if he jumps. And why does Mr Greedy want this cake? Because he is greedy! Why is he greedy? <laughs> oh, why don't you ask little Miss Brainy? Oh, no, not me, not me. I'm fed up with all these questions. Go and ask someone else, little Miss Curious. <laughs> Emptying the bottles? To fill the glasses, of course. Why are you filling up all those glasses, Mr. Nonsense? To empty the bottles, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I can stop now. Well, Mr. Nonsense is so full of nonsense that I can never annoy him. Why do you want to annoy him? For the fun of it? Why do you find that fun? What a silly question. I'm Little Miss Naughty and I just love being naughty and annoying people. But why? Oh! Oh! No. <laughs> oh. That's much too much. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth's wrong, Little Miss Naughty? Save me from Little Miss Curious. She won't stop asking me questions. Don't worry, you're not alone. I may be brainy, but even I don't have any answers left. Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Look out, here she comes. I have an idea. Mr. Dizzy has an idea. Mr. Dizzy has an idea. Oh, well, uh, you see, I thought they were good for that. No, see? Oh, no. no, you don't say. Why are you so greedy, Mr. Greedy? Hmm. And why, Little Miss Curious, are you called Little Miss Curious? What a silly question! Because... why not?
Little Miss Stubborn goes right to the bitter end. Today, Little Miss Stubborn has invited Little Miss Brainy and Mr. Greedy over to her house for some hot chocolate. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I um, don't suppose you know how chocolate is made? No. <laughs> but it's really good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, chocolate is made from the seed of the cocoa tree, which comes from Mexico. How do you know that, little Miss Brainy? <laughs> I just do, that's all. Look, it's a competition. What's the smallest island in the world? It's Teeny Island. And how big is it? It's two metres long and one metre wide. Are you sure oh. of that? For certain. You can go and check if you like. <laughs> All right then, I will. But it is 12,000 miles away. That won't stop me. Uh, don't forget to take a ruler. All passengers for TD Island, your flight is now boarding at gate four. <laughs> <laughs> is this Teeny Island? Teeny Island is out there. Oh. A ticket for Teeny Island, please. No, sorry, my dear. What do you mean, no? There's going to be a heavy storm this afternoon. I couldn't care less about the storm. Take me to Teeny Island. Impossible. Then let me buy your boat. She's all yours. Thank you. Bye. Or rather, goodbye. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to get such a good price for that old nutshell. <laughs> oh, dear me. I do think that little Miss Stubborn is being a little foolish. Oh. I said I'd go to Teeny Island. So I'm going there. I've come to check on something, actually. How tall are you, little Miss Tiny? Exactly five centimetres. Why? Two. Four. Fifteen. Sixteen. Two metres by one metre. So, she was right. You were right, little Miss Brainy. It's not that I'm stubborn, but I do like to check things. Uh, Mr Greedy mm. didn't wait for you. <sighs> I won first prize. Ooh, my weight in chocolate. <laughs> Look, there's a new competition on the cornflakes packet. What is the distance between Mr Land and the moon? 4,203 miles. But how could you possibly know something like that? I just do, that's how. And you're sure of that? It says so in all the space books. They might be wrong. Now go and see for yourself if you don't believe me. All right then, I will.
Little Miss Greedy, Belle of the Ball. Come on, Little Miss Greedy. Do make an effort. I've let out all the seams. It's no use, Little Miss Wise. I simply can't get into my ball gown. You see what happens when you eat too much? Oh, no, Little Miss Greedy. You'll never get into your dress if you carry on like that. I'll never be able to go to the ball and I do so love this dress. Then go on a diet. I'm sure Dr Make You Well will give you some advice. A diet? Now, tell me what you eat in a day, Little Miss Greedy. Let's see. For breakfast, I have a dozen eggs and some bacon, then ten slices of toast, eight buns, washed down with some hot chocolate and... No, wait a minute! Oh! And then for lunch... Stop! Onto the scales. I think your scales are a little tired. I'm going to drop a diet program for you. All meals are to be taken with Mr Skinny. Exercise to be taken with Little Miss Somersault and if you want to go to the ball, no more cakes and no more sweets. Oh! And no more sweets. It's your turn now. A few bounces and hop, off you go. Are you sure? Absolutely. The spaghetti's coming up. Hurry up, Mr Skinny. I could eat an ox after all that swimming. Spaghetti sauce and tomato, a lot Napolitano. Oh, yummy, yummy, yum, yum. Ta da! Which one would you prefer? And don't tell me, I'll give you the biggest one. Go ahead and tuck in, I'll answer that. It's Little Miss Somersault for you. Hello? It's time to go jogging, oh. it will help your lunch go oh. down. I'm so glad to see that you appreciate my cooking. I am sorry. I've eaten your spaghetti too. Don't worry. I could never have finished it anyway. Well, if it isn't little Miss Greedy. <laughs> She's slimming. I don't see any difference. <laughs> I bet she won't be able to resist picking some blackberries. <laughs> I think I have an idea to help her lose weight. Oh, uh, why is slimming such hard work? I know Dr Make You Well wouldn't approve. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. <laughs> oh! oh, what's making that strange noise? The big bad wolf. I smell lunch. Oh! oh! Help me! <laughs> <laughs> Not scared of a little Miss Trouble. <laughs> I think you're right. And it's all thanks to you and your face paints. She'll run and run and run. Oh, if only I can reach little Miss Wise's house, I'll be safe there. Oh! Help! Open up! There's a monster chasing me. Oh! What is it? Has the monster caught up with me? Oh, no. It's amazing. You've lost weight. Now forget all about the monster and try on your ball dress. I will be the belle of the ball after all.
Mr. Tickle saves the day. It was a very sad day for Mr. Tickle. Usually he was such a cheerful fellow, but he hadn't smiled all morning. Nobody likes me anymore, and all I did was tickle them a little. A little? Do you know how many people Mr. Tickle tickled yesterday? First, he tickled Mr. Chips, the carpenter. Oh, he missed the meal. <laughs> oh! Then he tickled Mrs. Cram, the baker. Stop it, Mr. Tickle! <laughs> what? <laughs> then he tickled Miss Shy, just as she was about to say something. Oh dear, I think I'm about to say something. <laughs> oh dear, goodbye. And so it went on, all day. Mr. Tickle just couldn't stop tickling people. <laughs> Until finally, everyone in Mr. Land had had enough. Well, see if I care. Not far away, Tess was having a lovely time with the new ball her granny had given her. Of course I can. I know just what to do. I'll have it down in no time. Almost there. If I can just... Uh... <laughs> oh, I've got it. Stand by below. Oh, thank you, Mr. Small. Oh, dear. I think I'm stuck. Uh, uh... Where are you, Mr. Small? I'm up here. Where? I'm here! I'm up here! Luckily, some of Tessa's other friends happened to be passing. I know what to do! Oh, thank you, Mr. Bounce. I knew you'd think of something. The trouble is, I can't quite reach the right spot. I've got the answer. Thank you, Miss Magic. I knew you'd think of something. <laughs> Very clever, Miss Magic, but it doesn't get me down, does it? Stand back, everyone. Leave this to me. Oh, good old Mr. Strong. I knew you'd have an idea. No, no, stop. stop. Please, please stop. I'll fall. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, they're the green ones. Oh, really nice, How about they? <coughs> Try one, one of these. They're good, yeah. Candy? Will somebody please think of a way to get me down? I know what. Said little Miss Sunshine suddenly, and everyone listened. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tickle. We need your help. It's about... Mr. Small, you see, he's stuck up a tree. Mm. And after they had all asked him to lend a hand, he did. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Tickle. What would I have done without you? What would any of us do without Mr. Tickle? And everyone agreed. Hooray, Hooray, Hooray Mr. Mr. Tickle! Tickle. Oh, oh, nice, man. nice man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always there when you need him, yeah. And as a special treat, they allowed him to tickle them. Just the one.
Little Miss Wise's crazy day. Little Miss Wise gets up at seven o'clock every day. After making her bed, Little Miss Wise likes things to be just right. Not too much toothpaste on her toothbrush. Her tea mustn't be too hot or too cold. And just the right amount of jam on her toast. And then Little Miss Wise very wisely goes for a little stroll. And to make sure that she has walked just the right distance, Little Miss Wise counts how many steps she takes. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Hello, oh. Little Miss Wise. Would you like to come to Miss Star's house? We're going to have a skateboard race. A skateboard race? You, Mr. Bump? Is that wise? Oh, there'll be piles of things to eat. Ooh, this high! <laughs> you know, it isn't wise to eat so much, Mr. Greedy. Thank you, but I'd rather go for a little walk around the square. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Well, have a nice walk, little Miss Wise. <laughs> Actually, I'm rather pleased that she isn't coming with us. <laughs> she has spoiled my appetite. Well, almost. <laughs> well, that's one less person for me to bump into. <laughs> Come on, then. Everybody to the starting line. 63, 64, 65. And why are you not taking part, Mr. Greedy? Oh, well, never mind. I'll, I'll just have to stay and look after the food. <laughs> ready? Ready, little Miss Star? Ready, little Miss Star? Go! Go on, Mr. Bump, go on! Okay, oh! Well, I never. Mr. Bump is already out of the race. And Mr. Busy takes the lead, closely followed by little Miss Somersault. Here we go, first obstacle coming up. <laughs> bravo, bravo! 102, 103. Oh, we have a surprise competitor. And Mr. Busy is still in the lead. But here comes the slalom. What a surprise! Little Miss Wise has just taken the lead. Oh. Oh. I've had it now! Oh. Oh. First, Little Miss Wise. Hooray! Oh. Where, where am I? Well, I never would have thought you had it in you, Little Miss Wise. I'm usually unbeatable! It's party time, everybody! I think it would be wise if I went home now. Would you like to dance, Miss Wise? Little Miss Wise had one of the best days of her life. But some things never change. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11...
a rival for Little Miss Somersault. Little Miss Somersault is so acrobatic, she doesn't sleep in her bed. Oh no, not Little Miss Somersault. She sleeps on a tightrope. Ah, I really am the best. Yoo-hoo, look at me. Uh, watch this. <laughs> Every morning, Little Miss Somersault gives an aerobics class for Little Miss Splendid, Little Miss Greedy, and Mr. Lazy. One, two. Come on, let's warm up with a little somersault. <laughs> you really are hopeless. Just watch me. You see, it's so easy. Miss Somersault really is a bit of a show-off. She needs to be taught a lesson. Tomorrow, on the stroke of eight, you'll be far less nimble than of late. Poor little Miss Somersault. Each time she tried to get comfortable on the tightrope, she fell off. Uh, and now for the somersault. See how easy it is. <laughs> Why do you look so sad, Miss Somersault? Oh, Miss Curious, I can't turn somersaults anymore. And why can't you turn somersaults anymore? Please, no more questions. I'm miserable enough as it is. Well, I think Miss Somersault has got the message. Return to your original self. Make every somersault a success. Yippee! That's it. I'm back to normal. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I was here first. I'm sorry. I didn't even see you. But it isn't fair. I can't help it if I turn the best somersaults in the world. <laughs> What's oh. going on down there? It's Miss Somersault. Just look at her. She thinks she can do as she pleases. It looks like Miss Somersault needs teaching another lesson. And the very next morning... Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I can do even better, you know. But who is clapping? Oh, Mr. Clumsy, watch out! But how? So, Miss Somersault, how do you feel now? Upset? You're all so good. What am I going to do? Now you know how we feel. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Well done, Miss Somersault. You've learned your lesson. Miss Magic! That's right. I've been helping all the other acrobats. I thought as much. No one can turn better somersaults than me. <laughs> <laughs>